Hey YouTube, thanks for visiting. In this session, we are going to discuss the questions from calculus of variation from the paper CSR net September 2022. Okay, in this paper, we also uh, get three questions in total. One question is of three marks and two questions are of 4.75 marks. Okay, so total almost you can see that 13 marks comes from the calculus of variation chapter in the previous year's questions paper also that is feb 2022 papers uh, we get the same type of marks distribution for calculus of variation okay so let's start to solve the questions from csr net september 2022 calculus of variation and before starting i am requesting you to all that if you like this content then obviously give like to this session and if you new here then obviously consider subscribing to my channel okay so let's start with question first question and this is the questions of three marks okay it says that what is the extremal of the function functional j y equal to integration minus 1 to 0 12 x y minus y dash square dx subject to this to constant this okay so this is very basic problem from calculus of variation so here the functional f is given this is equal to 12 x y minus y dash square okay so if we apply euler lagrange equation then we get what del f del y minus d dx of del f del y dash this is equal to 0 okay so this gives 12 x minus d dx of del f del y dash means d dx of minus 2 y dash this is equal to 0. So, this implies 12x uh, plus 2y second 2y double dash this is equal to 0. So, this gives y dash plus 6x this is equal to 0. So, we get this conditions now we can discard the option by from here and we can solve from here also. Okay. So, if we solve this then we get y sorry this is y double dash y double dash this is equal to minus 6x this gives y dash is equal to if we integrate then we get minus 6x square by 2 plus a suppose a is integral constant then y equal to minus x cube plus a x plus b now if we apply the given constant y 0 equal to 0 this gives b equal to 0 and y at minus 1 this is equal to 1 this gives simply uh, 1 is equal to 1 plus uh, sorry 1 minus a and this gives again a equal to 0 therefore both the constant are 0 therefore we get y equal to simply minus of x cube so this is the pure extremal of the functional that is option c you can say directly correct now if we see this option okay so if we see uh, this place and uh, we can discard the options from here also so if we see in the third option this gives y dash is equal to minus 3 x square and y double dash is equal to minus 6 x so we can also say from uh, this equation if we see the uh, given options then we can also discard the remaining three options okay so this is the two method to solve this problem option c is the correct one okay now going to the next question this question is of 4.75 marks it says that let x equal to e belongs to c101 that is the function u is continuous function and differentiable function of order 1 up to order 1 okay that is u is first order differentiable c1 means okay and u0 equal to 0 u1 equal to 0 let i from x to r be defined as i u is equal to integration 0 to 1 exponential minus u t whole square here you can see this is a notation u dash t whole square this mean exactly actually e to the power minus u dash square okay and the variable is t this is not t square okay this is the u dash square okay now let m is equal to supremum of f a f belongs to x i f and m small m equal to infimum of f belongs to this to our capital x obviously uh, this that is that means this set okay if you at which of the following statements are true here yeah. okay now if we see uh the functional f is given this is equal to exponential minus of u dash square and u dash is uh, dependent on t 
ओके सो दिस इज यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई ओके सो ह्यूर एफ इज द फंक्शन ह्यूर द वेरिएबल गिवन इज वाई दैट इज एफ इज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड सॉरी एफ एक्स यू एन यू डैस ओके सो एंड ह्यूर इट इज फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स एंड यू ओके देर फोर यू कैन इजिली राइट द एक्सट्रीमल डिरेक्टली फ्रॉम यूर विच इज इक्वल टू यू एट एक्स दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट सॉरी यू ऑफ टी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ए टी प्लस बी ओके ना इफ यू अप्लाई द गिवेन कंडीशन दैट इज यू जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड यू एट वन दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इम्प्लाइज ए इक्वल टू ऑल्सो जीरो देर फॉर बोथ द कन्स्टेंट आर जीरो दैट इज द एक्सट्रीम आल इज इक्वल टू यू इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज द गिवेन एक्सट्रीम आल नाउ इट सेज दैट कैपिटल एम इज द सुप्रीम ऑफ दिस वन नाउ इफ यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आई यू नाउ वाट एक्चुअली वी मीन बाई द एक्सट्रीम आल यू सो एक्सट्रीम आल इज ए कार्ब अंडार हुईच दिस फांगशनल आई यू गिवस इट्स सुप्रीम वैल्यू सॉरी मैक्सिमम वैल्यू और मिनिमम वैल्यू दैट इज द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू नाउ हाउ कैन वी फाइंड और हाउ कैन वी नो दैट दिस आई यू गिवस द आईदार मैक्सिमम वैल्यू और मिनिमम वैल्यू बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिजन वी रीड दिस फांगशन आई दैट इज द फांगशनल गिवस इट्स एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू ओके सो हाउ कैन वी फाइंड दिस गिवस आईदार मैक्सिमम वैल्यू और मिनिमम वैल्यू ओके सो फॉर दैट पार्पास वी नो दिस इज द फांगशन बेस्ड ऑन द फांगशन और बेस्ड ऑन द नेचर ऑफ दिस फांगशन वी कैन से दैट आई दर दिस फांगशन आल गिवस द मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम वैल्यू ओके सो इफ वी सिम्पली कैलकुलेट आई यू दिस इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू वन यू इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स ए टू दू डैस दिस इज इक्वल टू एगेन जीरो एंड यू डे स्क्वायर मीन्स जीरो एगेन सो यू डैस ए स्क्वायर डी टी दिस गिव सिम्पली वन ओके नाउ this one is either maximum value or minimum value so how can we define or how can we sure that this is the max either maximum value or minimum value so for that so the extremal this is equal to exponential minus u dash square d exponential minus u dash square now we find the derivative term this is simple uh, applications of maximum minimum from the uh, several variable from real analysis okay so if we find that if if u dash u dash here if u dash u dash if greater than 0 then this gives minimum value and if if u dash u dash gives a uh, what if u dash u dash gives less than 0 then this means the maximum value okay so i just write or i just it is this side right just again we don't need the external value again ओके नाउ सो वी फाइंड एफ यू डैस फर्स्ट सो एफ यू डैस इज इक्वल टू वट एफ यू डैस इक्वल टू एक्सपोनेंशियल माइनस ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल माइनस यू डैस स्क्वायर इंटू माइनस टू ऑफ यू डैस ओके देन एफ ऑफ यू डैस यू डैस दिस इज इक्वल टू अगेन एक्सपोनेंशियल माइनस यू डैस स्क्वायर इंटू माइनस टू यू डैस होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाट एक्सपोनशियल माइनस यू डे स्क्वायर इंटू टू माइनस टू सिम्पली ओके नाउ एफ ऑफ यू डैस यू डैस एट द पॉइंट इफ वी फाइंड दिस इज सिम्पली एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैक्सिमम इंडिया फ्रॉम द सेवरल वेरिएबल और फ्रॉम टू वेरिएबल कैलकुलस ओके सो एट यू डैस इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मीन्स दिस होल टर्म गोज टू जीरो एंड दिस टर्म सिम्पली गिवस माइनस टू विच इज लेस दैन जीरो सो एफ ऑफ यू डैस यू डैस एट यू डैस इक्वल टू जीरो here the variable you can say the u dash okay so this means this gives the maximum value and the maximum value is what the maximum value is one here that means under this uh, set the maximum value that is the supremum value for a belongs to a is what supremum value is one here we get the supremum value this is the one value and since this gives maximum therefore we can say directly from that then this is the maximum value that is this aim that is the supreme value equal to 1 okay and we can say easily that this is value is attained that means we can see that the supreme value touch the point at x equal to 1 because here it is given that this u that is this t belongs to what t belongs to 0 and 1 
Now for t belongs to 0 and 1, we get this i of u, this belongs to what? We get this maximum part is 1. Now we find this left side which is the infimum part and which attains or not. Now if we see the functions f equal to exponential power this and we know that exponential x is always greater than 0, it is never 0 that is we all know that this exponential power if function is not an onto function we all know that because it uh, do not have any pre image at the point x equal to 0 that means this exponential function is obviously or strictly greater than 0 we cannot write this exponential function is greater equal to 0 that is for any x this exponential functions never vanish ok so for that purpose here we re always open interval 0 ok that is this is the supremum value and this is the infimum value and you can uh, question me sir that how this 0 is supremum uh, as this 0 is not belongs to this set ok you can note from the real analysis that supremum or infimum may or may not belongs to the set that is why this 0 is not belongs to the set but this 0 is the value of the infimum ok. So, here it is clear that m is equal to 1 and m is equal to 0 that is this is supremum and this is infimum but m is equal to 1 which is attained from this interval and m is open interval 0 that is this point is not attained uh, by the infimum value ok. So, this is incorrect one and this is also incorrect one ok. So, this is the answer of this question. Now, going to the next question this question says that if yt is a stationary function j y is equal to this is the extremal given subject to the constant this one. So, which of the following statement is true? Now, we can apply here the what the Lagrangian function that is we can form that capital F is equal to A plus lambda into g and then apply the Euler Lagrangian equation to this F and then this is the complete procedure here I calculate the Lagrangian first ok. So, if you see then this is the Lagrangian I form here ok this is y value and if we form the Lagrangian then this is equal to this and then applying the Euler Lagrange equation we get this equation. But if you want to solve this question so this is a big calculations ok. So, that is why you do not need to proceed further of this problem. So, how can we solve this problem? So, here option A says that y is unique option B says that y is always a polynomial of even order. See, read this option very carefully, very carefully. Y is always a polynomial. So, if we take a polynomial which is of even order and if we see which fails to satisfy this given conditions, then we can easily say that Y does not always or Y uh, do not always a polynomial of even order. So, for this word always, we can obviously take an example and discard the example, discard this option. Similarly, you can apply for C options also and if these two options are false then these two imp uh, imply that y is unique this is statements is also false. So, if we take the example for option B if we take y is an even order polynomial that was we will take here the least order even polynomial which is equal to x square ok. Why we take this option uh, x square you, you need to very uh, <coughs> if you very carefully observe that for this one. That is why uh, you always need to read the uh, questions very carefully because of this word always this word is very important ok. So, it says that for any polynomial of even order that is for all polynomial of even order this is true. But if we see that for one polynomial this is false then we can say that this option is not true ok. So, for y equal to x square if we find simply minus 1 to 1 y square then for if we take any polynomial forward then um, this integration must satisfy for any y this gives the value 1. But if we calculate then we get minus 1 to 1 x to the power 4 dx which is equal to x to the power 5 by 5 and um, yeah I think this one minus 1 to 1 and this is odd function that means this gives 0 which is not equal to 1. I think I do the integration correctly or not. So, yeah I think I do correctly you can check once this not uh, this value is not equal to 1. Therefore, for one polynomial this condition is not satisfied that means this option we can discard this option B. Similarly, if we take y equal to x this is the we just here the least order polynomial to uh, the calculation is to be minimum ok. 
so this is equal to integration minus 1 to 1 so the question is this question is uh, solution is available but the uh, a, a, mo the most important case is why we take this one okay so this is the question you should arise in your mind to solve the questions or to solve this type of questions very carefully and very easily okay so this is ax this dx this is equal to integration uh, so this is uh, again order polynomial yeah i think we should do here integration 2 into 0 to 1 so this is not the zero value so this is you can write 2 into 1 by 5 which is equal to 2 by 5 for uh, this is you can write since integration minus 2 a 1 1 to 1 for even order polynomial we can write integration 2 into 0 to 1 and this one okay so this is order polynomial and minus 1 to 1 integration means this gives 0 which is again not equal to 1 therefore for one polynomial this condition is not true here it says that for always uh, y is always polynomial of order that. therefore we take an example of order of polynomial in case this condition is not satisfied therefore we discard this c options very easily so we uh, don't get any value of even order or we don't get any value of order that means y is unique this statement these two statements imply that this a statement is also false statement okay therefore here only one statement is uh, remaining which is option d that is no such y exist here okay so i think uh, you can understand these problems okay of calculus of variation you can also apply this method and if we see this then this line uh, after this line there are very laborious calculations for you that's why i skip this part but i uh, want to cover this solutions method how can we solve how can you solve this problem in different method okay that's why i write here this method the general method okay so these are the questions that is the three questions from csir net september 2022 okay so if this video is helpful for you then obviously give a like to this sessions and if you new here then obviously consider to subscribing my channel okay so thank you for watching thank you see you again in the next video thank you